So Hari, you have got two ranks in gate. One is AR 19, other is AR 1. So what was your strategy? The last two months, I focused on the. So do you used to go to college regularly, or you used to? You don't need the college. You just need motivation, a computer, and a book. You don't need anything else. This is so true. Why did you write gate at the first place? What was your motivation? So when I finished, I did my my B Tech in the 2010, and that time the. Then what was that you think? Where did you fail? I can't ask this question. So Hari, do you think that coaching is really required these days? The competition is just too intense, and the quality of the B Tech is. Your AR 19 was useless. It was useless. Absolutely useless. Hi everyone. Today I have Hari with me. Hari is my junior at IASC, and he has got AAR one in gate in 2010. So we will find out what his strategy is about the gate. Okay, before going to find out his strategy, I want to ask him one question. Hari, yeah. uh, why did you write gate at the first place? What was your motivation? What was your thought process? I did my B Tech in a college called CVSR College of Engineering. I wanted to. CVSR is a tier three college, right? Yes. So it, it used to be. Now it's called Angla University. Now it's in a much better shape than it was. <laughs> They are changing the name. Yeah. It also it it also became a fully autonomous institution now. Okay. And now they. So, but but I was in fourth batch after they began, and and I had a dream of going to IIT at some point of time. So But IIT so, going to IIT was your dream. Going to IIT was my dream. Doing masters was my dream. I had a I had a passion for theoretical computer science. I wanted to 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 go deeper into it. Okay. So I was not really focused on getting a job right after my bachelor's. I wanted to study more, and I was not really keen on going abroad. And I was not MBA material, and I still am not. So I <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so okay. the only option left for me was get. Okay. I will tell you my story. So when I was in second year of my college, the companies which were visiting my college were like uh, TCS, Infosys, all these service-based companies, and the salary they were giving is three lakh. Then uh, one of my friend's brother, who got into IIT Bombay for M Tech through Gate, he got a package of twelve lakhs. Back then salaries were very less. Yes. His salary was only twelve lakhs. But then even twelve lakhs was very high for me then. I wanted to get into Microsoft. That is why I have taken Gate exam. That was my motivation. So when I finished, I did my my B Tech in the 2010, and that time the recession hit very hard. So our seniors, all of their uh, jobs got got rescinded uh, due to the financial crash of 2008. After so we had no hopes. We had I think in my batch of 120 people, two got a job out of out of campus directly. Okay, and no one else. The one one eight had nothing. So you didn't get a job. I I didn't even sit for a job. Oh, you you were already fixed in your mind. I was that already fixed for get. I did not even apply. Go for get. I did not even apply for a job. I did not even uh, try for placements in college. So okay. we had this uh, placement commission for JKC. So I I did not even apply for it. So I had no other option, no plan B. If not get, then nothing. Okay, so you have burnt all the boats. Yes, burnt all the boats. <laughs> I did not write GR. I did not write anything else. <laughs> gate and nothing else. No. Okay. So Hari, you have got two ranks in gate. One is AR nineteen. Other is AR one. I I don't think that anyone else till now would have got that uh, achieved that feat. So what was your strategy while you when you prepared for the first time when you got AR nineteen and what was your strategy when you prepared for second time? And you got AR one. So I got my nineteenth in my B Tech third year in two thousand nine, and my AR one in my fourth year, which is twenty ten. So in two thousand nine, they changed the eligibility criteria to make it one year uh, to make one year validity, but two years can write. So that means my nineteenth was useless to join any master's degree anywhere. Oh, so, your 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 AR nineteen was useless. It was useless, absolutely useless. Which means you, that is why you have written one have more written time. Have written one more time. Otherwise, you wouldn't have given Other it. I wouldn't have written. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in when I got nineteenth, um, I knew it was going to be useless. So I took it like a sport. I did not even. Now it is useful. Now, now, now yeah, now it is. So till that year, it was useful. Only that one single year, they made it one year valid. Okay, and that year, uh, so I took it as a sport. I did not, uh, I did not uh, stress over it because it's it's anyway going to be going to be pointless for me. So I just gave it my best. 
so more than preparation i was in third year second semester so i subjects like uh, so like web design or or for example or our compiler design or many other things were not even covered in college yet so i had oh, no back then you had web technologies we had, we, syllabus, had, right? we had web technologies web technologies and one more subject software engineering, software was engineering that was, that was covered but i had no clue all the cyclomatic complex kind of thing were not there in btech so but anyway so so whatever I, i was passionate about i knew them pretty well i i did take uh, gate coaching for a while in my third year but then that was i took it very lightly i did not really focus on it because it anyway go it it anyway there is no validity so the last two months i focused on the previous papers i i endured my kinks the whatever i knew i was able to answer perfectly whatever i did not know either it was an educated guess or or did not answer at all i only answered if i was, if I was very sure i did not answer anything wrong so that brought me score to like 65 i think out of 100 which got me a 90 Okay, so in so, the exam, you answered only the questions which you are very sure about. Yes. You didn't take any guess. I didn't take any guess. I, I, that is very I, important. I took a couple of guesses, but then I was very sure of the guesses. So yeah, because it's like a linked answer. You guess the first one, you apply it in the second one. Though you don't know anything about the two questions, you can still be confident about the answers. <laughs> I have done these kind of things, but no major guesses. Uh, and uh, and and whatever I knew back then, I knew very well. So like all those computer networks and OS and CPU and all that, I knew, I knew from my B Tech days, and, and not from gate coaching or anything. I just knew from from actually like so hands on spending time on these things. I did not really focus on gate strategy other than just a few previous papers in Jan and Feb, and it so happened that the the exam suited my preparation and I got nineteen. Okay, so that nineteen was a was pure chance I, i won't say pure chance but it was um yeah i i was in no state to join in iit after that but <laughs> still got 19 <laughs> <laughs> and after i got 19 my confidence level zoomed up i and then i began working my entire fourth year for one so entire fourth year you have worked for gate yes i did not do any other tech first or not do any other activity in my second and third year was about all in tech first and winning robotics contest and all that So I spent most of our time in that, and in my fourth year, I, 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 I only focused on gate and my and my internship. I I interned in DRDO, in oh okay, um, advanced systems lab DRDO. So I spent my time on that and on gate preparation and nothing else. So that one year I was very. Serious. What was your B Tech percentage? Um, seventy seven percent. Oh, but then you have got uh, internship in DRDO. Yes, I got internship. What in was the cutoff for that? So there is no cutoff for that. It's only contacts. So I had a family friend in DRDO, and he also an IAC grad. So he was uh, so he was from Aero in IAC. He used to he was a scientist in DRDO, and he pushed hard for me. And then once I got my third year rank, my credibility also went up. So it was easier. Okay, got it. Then what was that you think? Where did you fail? I can't ask this question. <laughs> AR nineteen was a very good rank. I can't ask you where did you fail in gate in AR nine nineteen. I did fail in multiple places. In so the, what was the what was the major uh, difference in the in your preparation strategy when you prepared for AR nineteen and when you prepared for AR one? What was the uh, so major difference? So when I prepared for AR nineteen, it was all chance. I did not really focus on getting a top rank. I did not even know that I. I will be getting a top rank. <laughs> so I, I just knew whatever I knew, I knew well. I did not look to cover the entire syllabus. So there were very easy web tech questions. There were very easy questions from, um, from software engineering and all that, which I had no clue about. I would have easily got them if I had any idea about these areas. Um, so we, after leaving out web technologies and software engineering and compiler design, after leaving out these subjects, also you got AR nineteen. Yes. Oh my God! So after I had no idea about the subjects, they were not even covered anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever I knew, I knew well and nothing else. I mean, you must be really perfect with the other subjects. Yeah. Right? So whatever I knew, I knew really well. So that's it. Because I spent a lot of time in in tweaking at home with subnets and supernets and with networking. With um, I used to use Ethereum, Ethereum to look at uh, at 
package headers i used to wireshark wireshark yeah. so i i played it minix source i knew how how okay. uh, memory and, uh, and process management works i knew how i built a four a four bit alu out of logic gates like hands on soldering every single component i, I had a good idea with uh, with digital logic k maps and all that with logic gates i can so so these things i knew them hands on i even built my own logic gates from scratch i so you had hands on experience with yes. uh, everything yeah so almost everything. whatever i was interested in i had hands on experience okay. and i used to write did you play with compilers as well not much eventually yes but but not till then till then okay fine and i also you should write code in assembly for for the robotics contest and all i used to write assembly code for line for line followers for maze solvers obstacle avoiders all these things for h051 uh, so all uh, i had a fair idea about how co works how how dld works so how networking how works. networking works os i had a fair idea dbms also you must have dbms had. again you cannot really learn dbms hands on at home without having access to a large database if you, with a, you can only go so far with 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 small examples okay. but yeah i knew how joins and all work but not but dv dms was a weak spot yeah. and back did then. you read all the textbooks to learn this i did read all the textbooks to learn this you are you read all the textbooks and whatever i could read not i didn't master the entire textbook obviously but then you used to you have yeah, what was in the syllabus i read it properly okay. i did not leave out any 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 parts of the syllabus okay okay so i spent my btec well <laughs> Okay. So this is what you you get with the computer science bit. Like you don't need the college. You just need motivation, a computer, and a book. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting line. He's saying <laughs> that uh, he's what he's saying is with computer science you just need a computer, a book, and some motivation. There is no need of going to college. You don't need workshops. This workshop, is so you, true. You don't need anything else. This is can. so true. One computer, one and textbooks, and then uh, motivation. You don't. No one yeah. need to teach you. You can. You can self teach you. Yes, and if you have access to other other people's uh, say blogs on how how Minix works or how all this logic things or how to write assembly, if you which means uh, basically you can learn everything from internet. You can everything. You can learn everything from internet. You can learn. Uh, And and little bit of, motivation is required. Yes, and you, even if you, if you join IIT Bombay, you will be working on the same Minix code, same LLVM code. You there are all, all open source anyway. You can just take them and look code inside. Okay, and okay. It's not so you have a habit hard. of picking everything. Yeah. You cannot read Linux kernel maybe because it is just too huge. But but Minix is small enough to go through. Okay. So given some motivation and a computer and four years of time, <laughs> there is a lot to learn. <laughs> got it, got it. So, do you used to go to college regularly, or you used to I just bunk? Ha- I had a decent attendance. I wouldn't say that I like seventy percent. You seventy plus, seventy plus, seventy plus. That is not decent. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you used to stay at home, or you used to be preparing something. Yes, yeah, mostly at home and uh, our our tech first, our um, our our building for tech first. Got it. So got it. I built a lot of. I built I built bipedal robots that taught me how accelerometers and gyros work and how to do sensor fusion across these two. Then all this in assembly language, and and line followers with like sixteen sensors and so on. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I had a firefighting robot. I had I did basic process switching using uh, so context switching using H zero five one in assembly, and I showcased it uh, at a tech fest in Osman University. So. That was one big learning experience. Then okay. you write two pieces of code in two memory addresses, and on odd cycle execute one, even cycle execute the other. Okay. So keep alternating one and two, and then and then both will appear to one at the same time. Okay. It's like round robin at the most basic level. Okay. So I I I I should do all this. Um, hmm. This gave me a good hands-on feel of computer science. And this also answers your question why I wanted to do masters because I want I wanted to go deeper into the stuff. Okay, got it. Got and it. this is my third year, and and once I got nineteenth, my confidence level went up. Then I then the game is clear. <laughs> then okay. going to then in in fourth year I took coaching for for get a bit more. In serious. third year you didn't take any coaching. I joined for coaching but did not bother much because it was any any it's one year validated. 
Okay, so I used to go when I was free. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but other than that, I did not take it very seriously. Even if I get a rank, there, there is no point in. In it. final year, you were serious about. Final year, I was serious about it, I and you had taken coaching completely. I have taken coaching completely, but it's it's along with B Tech uh, and my internship, so I could not get more than so after B Tech and gate coaching and the commute to college and back, I had probably like two hours of my time in a day. Okay, so. My self preparation was like two hours in a day in my fourth year, and also obviously weekends and holidays. Yeah, so I somehow it all balanced out. Okay, so Hari, do you think that coaching is really required these days? Yeah, I I think coaching is required, so because the competition is just too intense and the and the quality of the B Tech is not really great anytime even back then also. So you need the coaching to orient yourself. Towards the exam and to know to understand the exam related uh, aspects of the subject. So, like for example, if you so knowing the subject is one thing and being able to answer it in the exam is another thing. And to bridge that gap, you need you you need to join a coaching center. And the coaching center will also give you a a good roadmap to follow. They'll also give you a schedule to follow. And you know you you know what is what in the subject. You'll have the high level picture of every area. And and having that helped me a lot. So taking Like a subject like OS, like a five hundred page page book is different from actually mapping it out into into three different areas and then mastering. Yeah. So, so re- rather than reading three five hundred pages, so even that is my my answer. Coaching is really important these days because even if you are not taking coaching, uh, you know your competitors are taking coaching. Yeah. It is like uh, someone is going on a bike and you are walking on the road. Who will go faster? It, that is as good as that. Our experience, especially, will help you in reaching your goal faster, and we will keep you on track. So definitely, coaching is going to help. I'll tell you an example. Let us say, if you want to drink coconut, will you climb up the tree and uh, and pluck the coconut and then drink it, or if you just will you just pay ten rupees and then uh, drink it from a vendor? So that is the, that is the difference, right? Doing it on your own or or. Uh, Are you know trading something for money? So saving time by paying some money. So and also the syllabus is vast. You cannot cover the entire books, all the eleven eleven subject books, which means at least you had to read twenty five books. You know, you know, in one year to write gate that is impossible. Hari, do you have any mentor when you prepared for gate exam? Um, there is no mentor as such, but we had a uh, but we had groups on online social media like Orkut and there. Uh, we used to discuss strategies and tips and answer each other's questions and solve things together. So that helped me a lot in in preparing for it. So Hari, can you mentor our students for a charge? Sure. Yeah, definitely. I would love to do it. That will help me also keep grounded to my subjects. How do you like to mentor them? Like, do you have any any plan in mind? Like, you want to do one hour sessions or you want to do. Uh, Uh, till the gate uh, exam or I how do you want to can work? do a study group kind of thing in whatsapp we can have a we can have a group where everyone joins and so we can discuss for a charge right for a charge. not for free yeah. so it would be it would be on 3000 rupees 3000 rupees okay so hari is saying that for 3000 rupees he will create a whatsapp group and put you all there on whatsapp and uh, let's call it as a rankers group and he will be able to uh, guide you in the whatsapp group about how to prepare for gate and if you want to take shall we have one more we can actually we can have one on one sessions as well uh, one on one sessions so he is having group sessions as well as one on one sessions now you can take either one on one session with hari or you can take group sessions with hari and he will be conducting uh, uh, one group session every month For all the students who join, and one-on-one sessions will happen one-on-one, and all the details about one-on-one program and group session will be in the website. You can check out in the website. Go to the website ravindrababuraula dot in. Everything will be written in the website about how Hari is going to mentor you. Okay, okay, Hari. So thank you so much for coming into thank you to the podcast and educating our students. I hope they will learn a lot from you. Sure. So actually, we have a rule, one rule here. those who come to our podcast we are going to present them with a book from our uh, gallery okay so which book would you like to take from our gallery okay okay war as a newt war as a newt yeah. okay because i know that person bad okay i will give you that book okay. 
so you can take this book thank you thank you so much for coming on the podcast